I first became interested in studying mountain lakes when I realized that they weren't exactly the undisturbed ecosystems that many would expect them to be. They can experience a wide array of stressors that are both naturally and human caused. These stressors can make it difficult for the specialized organisms that call these places home and already deal with the extreme environment of the mountains. These higher elevation regions can be sensitive to small changes, leaving them more susceptible to the impacts of UV damage, acid rain, and increased nutrients. Mountainous areas receive high amounts of precipitation and get deposited with a variety of compounds, some of which can have negative impacts. I wanted to visit some of these lakes and study what some of the impacts of these stressors may be. To do this, I designed an experiment to look at two aquatic communities from lakes with different food web structures. Food webs tend to be simple in these systems, which have a small number of highly specialized organisms that can tolerate extreme conditions. Sometimes, when a new species is introduced, the community must adapt or change to accommodate the new organism. Often, lakes like this were stocked with trout for sport fishing. Now this has been found to cause problems for native organisms such as salamanders, frogs, and amphibians they call this place home. Other organisms, such as zooplankton, which are small invertebrate crustaceans that serve as food sources for these fish, can also be negatively impacted. So, how may communities with and without introduced trout respond to some of these stressors? To find out, we created miniature lakes, or mesocosms, to simulate a lake environment and observe how organisms from those communities respond to different treatments. Coupled with lake surveys, we collected data to assess how these systems may respond in the future and how we can protect them for years to come. Results indicate that lakes with different food web structures respond differently to stressors, and those that are still disturbed by fish presence may be less equipped to deal with future impacts and changes.